Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and I'm doing another short video for our CAD Management Weekly blog, inspired by Mentoring Mondays for surveyors, which is a cool website. Check it out. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up Carlson Survey kind of right out of the box. So we made the switch from Autodesk Civil to Carlson Survey, eh, I don't know, about two months ago maybe, and I've been using it a little bit, not as not as much as some of my technical folks, but I have been using it a little bit, and I uh, got it installed on a new machine here, and I uh, just wanted to, to take some time to show you guys, you know, there's a, I don't know, half a dozen or fewer things that you want to do when you first install Carlson to get it set up. You know, it's going to be different for every person in every company, but I thought I'd walk you through what, what I'm going to do to get it set up the way I like. So we're going to go ahead and open it here. It's this little icon with the surveyor going. I'm running version 2021, the standalone version. Uh, okay, so you're probably not going to get this if you haven't had it before. Um, I'm going to say... Uh, use all new files and it's just checking for an update there is no update available which is fine I may have to double click that again to get it to run again there it goes alright so this is what it's gonna look like out of the box okay no it doesn't like my uh, Nope, now I'm getting two now I'm getting two copies. Uh, so it's it's having a problem with my license. I'm not sure why. Oh uh, right here, because I gotta tell this is for home use. So uh, there you go. So you gotta make you gotta make sure your license is authorized. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, we want to start a new drawing. Okay. Oh, actually, I want to open a drawing. So I have a drawing that's got our company textiles and a couple other things set in it that I want to start with. Now, you could start with a blank drawing. I'm not getting very much from this, but I'm getting a little bit, so... I'm going to go grab our, our template drawing, uh, which is actually set up for BricsCAD. It's called Bricks Template right here. Okay, so we're going to set that up. I'm going to open that up. Okay, so, uh, you know, the, the, there's a couple things you want to do right away. Um, you know, one of the first things I want to do, I'm, I, I'm a menu guy, so I like having my menu. It's already up. Um, I'm okay with the ribbon here. That's fine. Um, I probably, these probably too many toolbars for me. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm probably going to get rid of some of these toolbars here. I like my standard toolbar, but these other toolbars I don't, um, I'm not going to need. So, and that's kind of, again, a personal preference. Make sure I don't need any of these. I don't think I need any of these for now. And I'm not going to use these either. So I, I like to have some screen space on mine. Okay, so I, I got rid of those extra toolbars, made sure my menu bar was showing. Okay, the very next thing I want to do is I want to get set up for uh, for plotting. So I'm going to go to options and uh, come in here and work just work through this dialog a little bit. Um, so here's your your auto save. Uh, 15 minutes is fine. Uh, default file format AutoCAD 2018 is fine. You may want to. You may want to um, change that, but that's fine for me. Okay, but here's what here's what I really want in here for for my pass. Okay, so what I want to do is come down. The the main thing I want to do is set up my print pass. Okay, so print styles that's your your uh, pen tables. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna click that and hit browse, and we are gonna go down to where I keep that in my shop. Okay, which for us is in, in our uh, OneDrive folder under Templates CAD uh, Pen Tables. That's going to be the folder for that. And let's see, Printer Configuration. So these are like your PC3 files. So I'm going to set this to 
we're going to go basically to the same spot. Okay, but instead of going to pen tables here, I'm going to go to plotters. That'll have our PC3s in there. Um, let's see, are there any of these other ones I need to, I don't think I need to do any more of these. I am probably going to set my Lisp. No, oh, it's not letting me do that. For Can I add it? Here we go. So it's going to let me add a path for Lisp files. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We do use some Lisp files here. So uh, in my stuff, it's going to be, again, RH templates, CAD, and uh, let's see, Lisp. Okay. Now the other thing that kind of drives me a little bonkers um, is on my uh, display, on the uh, color scheme, in paper space, uh, I like it to the background to be black, the paper to be black, I'm sorry, and it is black. Um, so uh, I think I'm good there. So that's okay. And then I like my cursor to be 100%, but I believe it already is. Just checking my... Uh, my snap settings are okay. My cursor is already 100%, so I'm all right there. So that's about what I do to to get Carlson set up the way I initially want. Now there there are some other things that um, that you want to do. Um, you know, there's some some uh, some dialogues you want to work through on your uh, your point settings and your um, some of your annotation settings. So uh, I'm gonna just take a, a couple of minutes here and, and show you guys those. I don't know that I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna walk you all the way through them in this video because I, I don't want to get get it get too long. But um, you should go into annotate annotate defaults and uh, you should set these defaults. Okay, and then these actually aren't stored in the drawing. I don't believe so. You have to save these as a separate text file. But um, you should walk through this dialog. Annotate defaults. And then um, over here under your points, you should walk through your point defaults. You should go through this. We'll do it in another video. And you may want to go through your, let's see. You may want to make some tweaks to your um, draw locate points dialog as well. And then I uh, think, you know, it might be worth going through uh, your settings explorer. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not it. That's not the one I want, is it? It must be drawing setup. Uh, you know, it might be worth going through your drawing setup. Uh, I'm going to set this for 20 scale, and then uh, our symbol and text, uh, we, we like to have those a tenth. Uh, let's see. I think we want these to be one. I want English units, U.S. feet, not international feet. Angle I want in bearing. So go ahead and set those. So yeah, definitely go through your uh, your drawing setup. Uh, this is your Carlson configure. There's some other stuff in here. Um, you know, I'll I'll do in a different video. I'll do uh, uh, surface settings. You probably want to look at your surface settings, your survey settings, your general settings, and your project data folders. Probably want to look at those four for sure. Um, and you know if you're doing other things, uh, we're not doing mining or hydrology here, but there's other settings you can get to in here. Okay, so that's about 10 minutes, guys. I try and keep these videos about that long. So I'll do another couple videos, and we'll go through some of those other dialogues and annotate uh, points and uh, the settings menu. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.